depends like who's going to be there at the party is it a bunch of single people because if you surround yourself with a bunch of single people not that it's bad to have single friends but you start to act single like you are who you hang out with like as soon as I got married I wanted to have friends and women that were married not only married but Christian married women who have values like you have to surround yourself with people who have those same values like I'm not gonna go out to a club and be giving all of this attention to all of these men when my man's at home like that's disrespectful and if it if it was like hey I don't want you to go to this party regardless of who's there Mm -hmm. end of story Honor I'm not, your man. I'm not going. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter what the reason is. Yep. I'm not going. You've I got to pick your battles. I'm not going to question him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you had something, Pearl. Go ahead. I was just going to say, like, with the bikini <laughs> thing, for me, like, I really struggle with body image for a really long time. Mm-hmm. And I would wear big t shirts over my bathing suit. Mm-hmm. I, like, had a really not good relationship with food. It was a huge struggle in my life that took a long, long time. So for me, when I wear a bikini to the beach or, like, to the whatever, whatever I might be when I'm in, in water or not, like, I'm really truly not thinking, how can I get men's attention? It's, it's for me, like, it feels good. I'm like, wow, I'm confident enough and comfortable enough in my skin to wear this bikini, you know? I would, but I will say, though. Oh, shit. <gasps> Back oh, to underscore the underscore roots donated $1,000. Pop champagne. Yo, thank you, bro. Great show, Yay. Brian. Yo, thank there you, brother. Go. Thank Everybody. you. All right. <laughs> thank you, man. Really appreciate it. Dude, you're a... Uh, you're, uh, hold on. Let me, uh... He's a brave and a decent man. He's a pioneer. He's a pioneer. If you guys want, check out his YouTube channel, by the way. Back to the Roots. Appreciate oh, it. Oh, actually, actually. Thank you. We got champagne. <laughs> Do we all drink? Is everybody over... Everybody's over 21, <laughs> except for yeah, Madison here. Sorry, Maddie. Double, baby. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> uh, I think you're going ahead with your point. Go ahead. Oh, I mean, yeah. I, would ju- I was just saying that, like, for me, wearing a bikini is, like, an act of self-love and self-confidence and at the same time yeah if I was going which I just wouldn't go to but if I was going to some party with a bunch of like single guys looking to connect with girls like I probably would dress a little bit differently if I was with a man like I, I probably would I wouldn't wear like my sexiest bikini I'd probably be a little bit more a little bit more modest I probably would um but I think it would be ineffective for my man to say don't go to that party so can we get cups <laughs> i got the champagne bottle but no as cups. he opens now you know there's not to say the times that your man don't you want you to dress Maddie? a certain type of way or, too when you go oh, out so time. but, right, but he, at that point right, you're with I'm dressing him. for him right, yes. right. yeah and that's totally fine yeah. I, mm-hmm. I think it's fair for a man to say like I say if don't don't dress for the same things and in the same way, when you're with me, you have my attention. Why do you need the attention of other people? I and think it's that's not even fair. to say that if he leaves to go to the restroom, that a man may not even come approach and even see that you were with another man. Yeah, no, like that, that happens all mm-hmm. the time. Mm-hmm. But I think that if a man is insecure, he mm-hmm. will try to be controlling and say, mm-hmm. don't wear this, don't wear this, don't wear this. Like, it's a balance. It's a balance. It's a give and take. And I get right. what you're saying, but also I think if you ask like a, a bunch of men what they thought when they saw a woman in a bikini, like what their thoughts on it, I think they would all agree that they think that they're doing it for other people other than themselves. Well, that is their, that's them. Why am I living for the opinions and thoughts of a bunch of men? Like, I'm, I'm going to live for my own opinion and my own self-confidence and my own self-worth and, of course, take into consideration the person that I'm dating. But doesn't that go against what you just said earlier? What does? About how you were saying that when you're raised, you're raised to be good And then Brian said, well, doesn't it seem more like women are raised to think about themselves? And then you just said that you're living for yourself. You don't, you're not thinking about other people's opinion. For me, I was not raised to put myself in the center. I was raised to put everybody else, my dad's opinion, all everybody's opinion above my own. And for me, growth is learning how to actually think, oh, you know, what do, what do I want to wear in this moment? You know, how, what do, how can I live in such a way that actually honors my own opinion and that I'm actually thinking about myself for the first time. Really quick, just show of hands, who wants like, champagne? I do. We all have free will as a woman, even if you're married. Mm-hmm. You have free will of, of what you're going to wear. At the mm-hmm. end of the day, like, 
my man shouldn't even be in a position to have to tell me don't wear that because I have the free will to not wear that because I have the free will to honor him, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, it's okay to be confident. Like, listen, I'm a personal trainer. I want my body to look good, clearly. But it's not for the attention of other people. And I shouldn't make it known that it's for the attention of other people. And I think when you're, especially when you're married, like, and I think now that I'm married, I, I, I do understand, like, you have to, your body has to be, it, it, it's for your man. Mm-hmm. And so you have to honor that and you have to be respectful of that at the end of the day. So if your that man was, was like, Jordan. if your man was like, don't wear leggings, I want you to only wear sweatpants because it makes me feel uncomfortable. Would you be like, sure, no question. I mean, no, I, def- I think we'd have to have like a conversation about that, yeah. why he feels that way. He'd be like, I don't like how men are always looking at your fat, juicy ass. Well, I'd be well, like, they're going to look at it no matter well, what. I mean, they're going to look at it. They're going to look at it. And he's like, yeah, but it's, it's, it, it, it's more prominent and it looks like you're dressing more yeah. for male Quick attention. interruption here. Uh, <laughs> Salut. 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 Uh, cheers to back to the roots. Thank yeah. you, man. Thank you for the champagne pop. You're a legend, sir. I guess I just Appreciate feel like this podcast, honestly, Brian, this is an incredible podcast. How many subscribers oh. do you have? Oh, thank you. How many subscribers do you have? Like 4 million or some shit? 4. Oh, 4.4? 4. 4. Like, that I is, as, a, as someone who's in the online space, like, <laughs> that's obviously a huge feat. Obviously, you're raking in the money. Someone just sent in I'm a, a grand. I'm a starving college student. <laughs> like, that is so struggling. amazing. And at the same time, I feel like it's equally difficult to know how to be a good woman and how to be a good man. And I know that there are a lot of people tuning in to watch these shows. And I just, I guess I fear that all of these people who are watching are just getting like riled up to hate on each other and hate on the sexes when really like we need one another to see it from a different perspective and how we communicate. our intentions and and our desires, like saying, don't wear that. Like, that's just not going to be an effective conversation. That's effective. Wait, that's super effective. (laughs) If I've got a girlfriend and I say, don't do something, she says, yes, sir. I mean, that's that's super effective. Don't do this. Okay. (laughs) Perfect communication, right? I guess if that's $200, right? Take into consideration the person I'm dating. That statement says that you wouldn't have respect for a man in your life. A man in your life seems like a superficial add-on to what outfit you want. Yo, kill of cereal. Appreciate it, bro. Statement says that you wouldn't have respect for a man in your life. A man in your life seems like a superficial add-on to what outfit you want. We have another one coming through, so I'm going to just allow it right now. Hillary Epstein donated Hillary Epstein. $200. Boom. Thank you, bro. Not at all. We don't argue, we debate. We don't argue, we debate. What's this in reference to? I totally forgot. <laughs> Can I redress her question? Wait, though, I that think she, she needs me? to finish her statement, though. Um, Sorry, Jordan. Love you. I guess... Uh, what? <laughs> not in the, no, no, no. Oh. no, I didn't. That is, listen, I just like I was like, whoa. Whoa. I guess if you want a woman, it depends what kind of woman you want. Like, if you want a woman who's self-assured, who has self-worth, who has high self-confidence, and who wants like a relationship or a partnership where there's like equal give and take, I feel like a woman like that is gonna have a hard time being in a relationship with someone who says, "Don't do that," and immediately, without any discussion, she says yes uh-huh. or no. 